What say are doing with artificial intelligence to change communications in the future? Great. So yes, yeah, say that our job is to look at you know view uh, video of uh, the person of interest, and the algorithm starts remembering the micro expressions and the way that that person talks, and after that we can regenerate that person's talking in any form or any language. For example, take Angelina Jolie. She might be speaking Japanese in fluently. You know, so and that's the kind of things that we could do once we have the expressions uh, and the uh, the way that person talks. After that, we, we, we are good to go to type a text and create a, a video out of that. It's sort of like Siri meets video. How do you guys think that businesses are going to be able to use this technology for interacting with consumers or other businesses? Jack, do you want to make it? Sure. We see some uh, pretty immediate use cases for business, especially with advertising. Brands that have prominent spokespeople like Progressive Insurance or T-Mobile, we could create a very realistic human video avatar of those characters, and they'd be able to generate instantly personalized, customized commercials video clips, pre-roll spots, all of that kind of thing, all of those kinds of things at scale. For example, the Old Spice campaign that went viral with their spokesperson uh, that had a lot of popularity around that, um, we could save a brand like that a lot of money um, instead of having to go and produce new video content, new video clips every time that they wanted to do an update. We could build an avatar of the Old Spice uh, character and then whenever Old Spice wanted to create a customized message, even to the individual level, it would be really easy. We just take the text that they want to create a video clip out of, enter it into the system, and you've got the Old Spice guy basically reading off exactly what you want him to say, and that could be updated in real time.